Someone just told me that on Kotaku that uh, they spelled my last name V A R L A Y. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jace. I'm a programmer and the community manager here at Coffee Stain Studios. And recently, you may have heard that Satisfactory will be an Epic Games Store exclusive title. A lot of people all over the internet had uh, questions about that, so I'm going to answer them for you now. It's going to be a long video, so let's just jump in. Let's go. <laughs> Who forced you to do this? Uh, no one. We, we just chose to do it. But then, why? Uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of reasons why we went with the Epic Games Store. And one of the first reasons is because we have a long working relationship with Epic. Uh, since the very beginning of Coffee Stain, we've only been using Unreal Engine apart from like a couple mobile games. So we have a really good relationship there with Epic. Uh, another thing is we like that it is an option, uh, like another option, which then only focuses on giving sort of quality curated uh, titles. So that's kind of cool. Uh, another thing is the revenue share. Obviously it is better than other places. Um, and what we would like to be a part of is trying to set that as a new standard uh, for the industry, which would be super cool. Uh, having said all that, who knows, maybe it's no good. Maybe this just doesn't work out, crashes and burns. We have no idea. We can't predict the future. Uh, so we're gonna be evaluating this as we go. Um, hopefully, hopefully things work out. <laughs> uh, so that's all the reasons why, I'm kidding. Yeah, we got cash money. Uh, <laughs> we got payment for the exclusivity deal. Um, now, how that's good for us and maybe even good for you is that one, it gives us stability as a studio. Uh, it guarantees that we can keep going. It guarantees that we will be fine after creating Satisfactory. It means we may be able to support it for longer. If we ever move on from Satisfactory, then we can have, you know, we're gonna have a better budget to create better games. Now, one thing about uh, getting a bunch of money is that it's quite easy to promise, yeah, we're gonna put it into great creative games in the future. Um, and then just like not do that. The way that we chose to make Satisfactory was not like this corporate boardroom, which was like, hey, I think this is a great niche market to get into, we should do that. No, it was literally the developers, the programmers and the designers and whatnot that voted to make it. We had a prototyping process where a bunch of games were thought up and us, the developers, chose to make Satisfactory. I don't know, I think we have a, a nice history there of putting our resources into cool projects. So I hope that you know, us being financially stable with Satisfactory means we really will keep doing that in the future. Is it a timed exclusive deal? Yeah, it's actually a timed exclusive deal. It is 12 months long, and then after that, we can put the game wherever we want. Uh, whether we will or not, I don't know. I don't want to tell you after 12 months it'll be on Steam, and then like, maybe we just choose not to put it on Steam. I don't know. We have no plans regarding that. So please don't really have any expectations there, but uh, the, the deal is 12 months long, and then who knows what happens after that. But I hate Epic. All of my games are on Steam. Sure, I can understand that. I can understand that that is aggravating, disappointing, annoying. I'm not sure if that's a deal breaker for you, then I, I can understand that. However, the game will be exclusive on Epic Game Store. And if that is a deal breaker for you, if you don't want to support Epic, if you don't want to support Satisfactory or Coffee Stain anymore, then I support that decision. You should make whatever decision is best for you and all I can say is I support that, go for it, it's your choice. I actually just can't use the Epic Launcher. It doesn't work for me or it's not supported for my OS. Uh, that really sucks, I'm, I'm super sorry to hear that. The only thing I can say is that the Epic Games Launcher is being actively developed. Uh, it's not done yet. Uh, so the only thing I can hope for there is that these issues will be addressed in the future. The only thing I can say to you is bug Epic, make sure they know about it. They probably do, but bug them anyway. Hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. And hopefully they address those issues soon so that you have access to the launcher. But I don't wanna have another launcher open in the background. Uh, you actually won't need to have the launcher open in the background or even be signed in or anything. Satisfactory can be played offline and if that's the case, you won't need the, the launcher open. But if you wanna use any online features like to play multiplayer, then yeah, you need to have the launcher open and signed in and whatnot. Uh, the alpha at the moment is a closed alpha and so therefore for now, the launcher is required, but in the future it won't it won't be required. Is there an early access feature on the Epic Store? Yep. Do you think not revealing anything sooner was misleading? Uh, we were actually under NDA, so we couldn't actually say anything, and it was up to Epic to make the announcement, so we couldn't say anything sooner. In fact, I told you as soon as I could. I was literally in my living room with my iPhone, and I made a video and put it on YouTube. <laughs> I told you as soon as we could. Do the people at Coffee Stain even use the Epic Launcher as gamers? Yeah, of course we have it. Do you guys not play Fortnite? 
Yeah, we are all gamers here. Um, some of us are, we play a lot of games, some of us are filthy casual, some of us have lower Slayer levels than 80 in RuneScape. Some of us like Steam, some don't. Some of us like the Epic Launcher, some don't. We're just gamers like you are, so everyone is different. But do your evil corporate decision makers play video games? Uh, yeah, they do. There's this like one evil corporate decision maker named Tim, and he's always playing Call of Duty or something. Uh, and then there's obviously Anton, and he plays so much Dota, I'll, I'll try and convince him to let me put his hours in this video. So, that, like, they all play video games. You're an evil corporation. <laughs> Got us. <laughs> but revenue share doesn't matter if you don't have any customers. 88% of nothing is still zero. Something something. Haven't you even considered that? Yes, we have. Why did you leave Satisfactory on Steam for so long and then do a bait and switch? Were you just using it for marketing slash visibility? Before we were exclusive on Epic, we were on Steam and we intended to be on Steam. In fact, we intended to only be on Steam, but that obviously changed. And we didn't really want to raise any question marks because of the NDA. We wouldn't be able to answer any questions. In the two days uh, last week between when the Steam store page went down and when we uh, announced the exclusive deal with Epic, uh, the reaction was unreal. <laughs> and so given what we know now, looking in hindsight, you know, we could have done it that way. And like, maybe that was the better thing to do. Maybe it wasn't. If we took the Steam store page down and then started giving out alpha keys, people are gonna be like, well, where did the keys go? And we can't say anything about it. It would have been months of questions with no answers. So uh, we, we made the best decision that we could at the time and we thought that was the best thing to do and so that's what we went with. Is the alpha being done via Epic? Yep, but Epic Launcher doesn't have insert feature. The Epic Launcher is still being developed, it's brand new and you know we can see it being developed as we work alongside Epic. Uh, so if there's a feature that you want and the Epic Store doesn't have that yet, there's a good chance that it's gonna be out in the, in the future. For example, like achievements will be there and I think reviews will be there as well. But look what Epic did with other games. I loved Paragon and they just canceled it. Uh, Sat Satisfactory is still our game, so we can do whatever we want with it. Epic can't like cancel our game. They can't do anything to our game, it's ours. We're just selling it over on the Epic store. Was the alpha always on Epic? Uh, so this closed alpha that we've been doing, sending keys out to the public slowly, uh, that has that has all been on the Epic Store. Did you ever give Steam keys? Before the exclusive deal with Epic, uh, we had given Steam keys out to close friends and family so that they could test the game and check it out. So obviously they played it on Steam at that time, but then after things changed and we went with the Epic Store, then uh, they couldn't play on Steam anymore. No one can. We can't even play on Steam anymore. Uh, and everyone who had a Steam key at that time now has an Epic key and everyone plays via the Epic Store. Is there a refund policy? Yep, there is a 14 day no questions asked refund policy. Is there regional pricing on the Epic Game Store? Yeah, there is regional pricing on the Epic Game Store and I'm just gonna read what they said here. Uh, the store is currently live with eight currencies. Brazil and Argentina are still in US dollars, but more currencies will be added early to, uh, 2019. As of today, Epic currently supports local pricing in US dollars Great British Pounds, Euro, Polish... How do you say that? Zloty. Polish Zloty. <laughs> Russian Ruble, South Korean One, Japanese Yen, Turkish Lira, and Ukrainian... Hrivnia. Hrivnia. Ukrainian Hrivnia. Got it first try, didn't even have to look anything up. Is the Epic Game Store DRM free? There is no DRM on the Epic Game Store and it's up to the developers if they want it or not. If they do want it, they put it on um, themselves. It's up to them to provide it. We have not put DRM on any of our games before, so we will probably not do it with, we have no plan to do it with Satisfactory. Uh, however, uh, as I said before, if you do want to use online features, you do have to have the launcher open and be signed in. What about the security breaches in the past with Epic? Yeah, there was a pretty big breach, huh? Like, I, I even got burnt by it as well. Someone, like, hacked into my account and, like, bought $100 of V-Bucks. <laughs> and then I had to get a refund and I did get it. Uh, but that was a complete pain in the ass. Uh, so that's uh, super unfortunate. So I, I can totally understand uh, if you have security concerns. Again, this is one of those things that, you know, you make your decision here. If, if you cannot trust Epic on this because of the security of your personal details and information, you know, then don't, right? Um, so I can totally understand that. And, you know, it would be, 
you know, I could totally do like a whataboutism here and be like, you know, but there have been breaches on other stores, but that doesn't matter, right? Like what matters is if you're gonna go to a platform, you don't want your shit stolen, right? So again, you make that call yourself, what is right for you. What are the payment options for Epic Game Store? Uh, so I don't think anyone actually asked this question, but I do remember seeing that some people said, um, but the game store, Epic Game Store doesn't take credit cards in my region, uh, and that's pretty bad. So I went online and I went to check more information, but I got distracted by the fact that you can pay via Subway gift card. <laughs> Instead of buying a foot-long meatball sub with cheddar cheese, you could just buy a game. <laughs> Did I just give the price away? Your community manager is unprofessional. You should be ashamed. What gave you that idea? I trim my pubic hair. I'll do almost anything for gin. Oh, for fuck's sake, Simon, what are you doing? For women come to that kind of work. Thanks. <laughs> then make it great! I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey everyone, it's Jace from the future here. Something that I forgot was to uh, thank the people who supported me, and the reason that I forgot to do that is because I'm an idiot. Uh, the way that I do the Q and A's is um, on my script, I just have the questions and then bullet points for the answers, and then I just wing the intro and wing the outro, and so I forgot to do this. Um, so I just want to say a big thank you to all the people who do actually support us, people who are saying that they're going to buy the game regardless, doesn't matter about the launcher. I get a lot of like DMs in private as well, you know, of people who are supporting us, so it's super cool. Um, also want to say thank you to the people who are uncertain. They just want to wait and see. Um, that's super cool as well. You know, again, make the decisions that's best for you. And if that means you need to wait and see before you're convinced, perfect. Um, even want to say thank you to the people who have just decided that they don't want to do this because it's a deal breaker. Um, cool, I can understand that. Uh, and specifically, I'm thanking the people who did so, uh, who let me know, let us know, uh, respectfully. Uh, Thank you very much for doing so. And um, then there are the other people who weren't so respectful. So let's get back to the outro. All right, everyone, that was a lot of questions. Dare I say, an epic amount of questions. And in fact, it was every question that I could find online. I'm sure I've missed something somewhere, but that is everything that I could find. And I'm really glad that the, the, uh, the evil corporation people here at Coffee Stain let me answer every single one, so that's great. Now you've got the meat of the situation. The meatball sub with cheddar cheese, if you will. Uh, so if you found this video interesting or enlightening, please consider sharing it so we, uh, this information can get out there. Uh, if you hated this video, if you hate me and my hair, please don't share it and tell everyone how you hate it. This is reverse psychology. All right, everyone, I'll catch you next time. Bye. Every time I go downstairs to, to exit, to exit the job to eject from the office place i get paid to do this by the way first you scam us with the fake alpha and the fake alpha keys now this